Hi, this is Justin Garnett with BasketMakerOnBottle.com. In this video, I'm going to be talking about using body-based measurement methods to produce um, basket maker hot bottles and darts, which are sized to you, the user. And there are obviously many ways of sizing hot bottles, and this is just simply the one that I've come up with. However, it does a very good job of giving me, uh, based on my personal, um, my personal throwing style, um, very well uh, sized and proportioned allotles and darts. What I do to size an allotle, which is obviously the first, the first step, is going to be um, measuring the length of my arm. I have already covered this briefly in another video, but slightly more detail. What I like to do is set the handle, or the handle to be of my stick, in my armpit, and then swivel it down into my hand and the point at which I'll cut off the wood to um, give the final length of the atlatl is the point where the atlatl handle, or where the um, atlatl headspace uh, meets up with the um, base of my middle finger. So then in order to put on the headspace, I use approximately the length of three finger widths from the tip. The groove, usually about three finger widths, but that's less, that's less critical. And then the handle I like to do as a, uh, a full fist width before the beginning of the, um, of the finger loop constriction. And that gives a nice resting place for these, uh, for these two fingers on the end of the handle when you measure your, um, your thrower that way. In terms of making my darts, um, I like a dart shaft to be, um, well, made out of, made out of um, coyote willow. Um, but, you know, many willows have uh, similar um, wood densities. So what I like to do is to have a 55 inch uh, main shaft. Now in order to, to make a 55 inch main shaft, uh, which again is dependent on my size, um, a smaller person would probably uh, throw better with a, with a shorter dart and a larger person would, would throw better with a longer dart. Um, but in order to make the uh, 55 inch um, level dart, which I like, I like to hold one arm out straight to my side the other arm straight down, down my other side, and the length of the outlatal dart will be between the tip of my middle finger on the downward hand and the tip of the middle finger on the um, extended hand. For me, that winds up being a 55, a 55 inch um, distance. For the four shafts, I like to make a hang loose sign, which winds up being about seven and a half inches when measured from the cone, the, the cone of the uh, foreshaft to the tip of the foreshaft. And that's, that's very consistent. That's a good, a good measurement for making, um, for making your foreshaft when you have made your main shaft with this, with this method. For fletches, I also like to use the, uh, the hang loose sign. It gives me a seven and a half inch um, fletch, which works, uh, works quite well. Uh, obviously, there's wiggle room in these um, in these dimensions, but this is just simply the way that I do it. Now, those darts work very well. Um, they throw very well for me. Um, another type of dart that I like to use is the a very short type, um, and these these ones are a little more tricky. You have to be extraordinarily careful with your um, with your form in order to throw these shorter ones well. These shorter ones, their entire overall length is 55 inches, and that is again this measurement. However, that includes the uh, length of the foreshaft. Uh, these will throw well, but they will um, generally, you know, only throw well um, for shorter distances than the uh, larger darts. In terms of um, of width, in terms of the diameter of these um, sticks, it's also useful to have a good body-based um, reference. Now, these um, darts, I like my darts to be um, a half an inch at the uh, at the distal end, and um, three-eighths of an inch, or a little under three-eighths of an inch approximately. So what you do is just kind of search around on your body until you find something, which you're always going to have with you, which um, is that size. And for me, I've found that my um, little fingernail on my left hand is uh, almost exactly the width that I want the uh, base of the, um, of the dart knot to be. So in the field, it's rather, rather simple and easy to um, find um, the length of your stick and the uh, proximal, the proximal um, diameter. 
the um, distal diameter at the main shaft socket winds up being about the uh, width of my thumbnail. So I can then measure the uh, end of my thumbnail and have a very uh, consistent uh, way of producing uh, darts all to the same specifications uh, out in the field without having to do any sort of uh, measurements whatsoever. Now it helps that, or any, any conventional measurements whatsoever, now it helps that I uh, already know what all of these uh, measurements uh, are in terms of, of inches and, um, and fractions of inches, but I can very consistently produce um, well-spined um, darts from uh, coyote and other willows um, out in the field with these uh, methods. So obviously everybody's different, uh, but if you follow these uh, guidelines, you should be able to make a a very well-functioning set of levels and darts which um, are specifically tailored to your particular body. Alright, thank you very much for watching.